In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear friends in Christ Jesus, I would like to start with a riddle. What belongs to you that others use it more than you do? Well, friends, the answer is pretty simple. It's your name. And secondly, do our name has power? Well, friends, name signifies a person and the authority it holds. And thus, it has power. And if human name has so much power, then what about God's name? God's name is very powerful and exactly what we see in today's gospel. In today's gospel, we see a man was casting out demon in Jesus' name. A man was casting out demon in Jesus' name. And how was he able to cast out demon in Jesus' name unless and until he has trust and believe in our Lord? Friends, he had complete trust, complete belief, faith in our Lord. And we read in the Gospel of St. John chapter 14 verse 12 onwards where Jesus told his disciple, Truly, truly, I say to you, he who believes in me will also do the works that I do, and greater works than these will he do. And if you ask anything in my name, I will do it. The two fundamental criteria we need to have in order to do great work, glorious work, and in order that our Lord will do what we ask according to his will is believe in the Lord and to have complete faith, trust in our Lord. We Christians are privileged to know who Jesus is, to take his name. And we do plan lots of prayer. But let us reflect on our life. How do we take the name of Jesus and how do we pray? Do we pray with complete belief and trust in him? That whatever we ask in his name and according to his will, will be done? Do we trust in his divine providence? Friends, as we are all blessed with the Holy Spirit, let us ask our Lord the gift, the grace of faith. As disciples ask, increase our faith. Let our prayer too be, increase our faith, that we trust in His divine providence and we do His will through our life. 